Welcome back to the Packet Lab. Today we're going to have another in our continuing courses on OSPF and today's topic is going to be OSPF fast hellos. And before we get into fast hellos and what they are, you're going to have to indulge me a bit. I'm going to do a, some review here on the OSPF hello interval and router dead interval. There is a separate course on this and if you've watched it then this is all going to be reviewed to you. I'm going to fly through this pretty quickly so if this is the first time you've seen these two timers I strongly suggest you go and view the OSPF hello interval router dead interval course that I have out there so let's get to it OSPF timers are included in OSPF hello messages and the OSPF hello messages are used to establish neighbor relationships between OSPF devices so they're gonna be sent out every X seconds and that X value is actually the hello interval so there's two timers that the OSPF devices have to agree on to establish a neighbor relationship and that's the hello interval and the router dead interval. So the hello interval is basically the amount of time it's going to take between sending out these hello packets and the hello packets are used basically as a keep alive between the two OSPF devices. So if the hello interval is four seconds then it's going to send these out every four seconds and it has to agree on this so both sides have to be configured the same. The router dead interval on the other hand is the amount of time that a router is going to wait for its neighbor to send a hello packet. If it doesn't receive a single hello packet within the router dead interval, basically this is just going to be a timer that uh, decrements and ticks down. If it doesn't receive a hello packet from its neighbor, it will declare the neighbor relationship dead. And this slide is just more review. You can see here that these are the criteria that must be matched between the neighbors and all this is included in the hello packets. And you can see here OSPF timers is what we're looking at right now. And this is just the structure of the OSPF hello packet. And what we're looking at is our hello interval is right here. And then our router dead interval is here. And this is a Wireshark packet capture of an OSPF hello packet. And you can see here that the hello interval in this case is 10 seconds. And then down here, the router dead interval is 40 seconds. We're going to revisit a packet captured later on in this lesson and uh, show you the difference between a normal OSPF hello packet and uh, OSPF fast hello. iOS is going to assign a default hello interval and a default router dead interval based on the OSPF network type. So this is a table that you're going to want to memorize for your studies because these will come up in Cisco exams and in, in the real world. So here you can see the OSPF network types and really you only have to memorize the default hello interval because the default router dead interval is always going to be four times that. So here you can see that broadcast and point to point OSPF network types have a default hello interval of 10 seconds and if you can multiply by 4 you can see that 40 seconds is going to be your default router dead interval. All the rest of them with the exception of loopbacks, loopbacks don't send out hello packets at all so you don't have to worry about those guys. They're going to have default hello intervals of 30 seconds and then a default router dead interval of 4 times that which is 120 seconds. So you can see here that based on the network type you could have a significant difference in the router dead time. So with a non-broadcast OSPF network connection, you're going to wait two minutes before you declare a neighbor down, whereas if this was a broadcast, you'd wait 40 seconds to declare this down. And here we can see how we can verify the hello and router dead intervals on the command line. It's going to be under the interfaces, so you're going to issue the show IP OSPF interface and then specify the interface. In this case, we're looking at 00 slash 0. And then in this output, there's a lot of good stuff in here, but what we're looking for is these timers specifically. So in this case, you can see that the network type is point to point. And if we remember from the last slide, that that default hello interval is going to be 10 seconds and then the dead interval is 40 seconds. So here we've gone ahead and changed that network type to non-broad broadcast which is one of the ones that has a 30 second hello so you can see here 30 seconds for the hello 120 seconds for the dead interval so these do change based on the network type so changing the OSPF network type is one way to change the hello interval but a lot of times we want to go in and set our own values so the way that we do this is we actually go under the interface so these commands are going to be under the interface that you want to change this on go under the interface and then you're going to issue the IP OSPF and that is the magical keywords that get you to the OSPF configuration commands under an interface and then we're going to have the hello interval and what we could do is we can set that from anywhere from 1 to 65,000 blah 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 seconds I think I figured out the math on that it's like 45 Five days or something it's ungodly longs so you can go ahead and set that hello interval and the thing that Cisco iOS is going to do is when you set that hello interval it's going to automatically change the dead interval for you so we didn't configure the dead interval we just configured the hello interval but it's changing that to four times what our configured hello interval is you can see here we issued the show IP OSPF interface and then I'm just including the timers here so that we parse through some of that output and you can see here now that our hello interval is six seconds and our dead timer is 24 seconds and you could change the OSPF router dead interval independently 
of the hello interval. And that is important that when you change the hello interval, by default, Cisco iOS is going to change the dead interval to four times that. That does not work in reverse for the router dead interval. If you set the router dead interval, it's not going to change the hello interval. So you have to make sure that if you're doing this, you're probably going to want to change both of them because if you change the router dead interval to something that's less than the hello interval, iOS is not going to give you a message that says, hey, doofus, you just set your uh, dead interval to less than the hello interval. There's no way that that's going to work. It's going to let you make your mistakes and fall on your face. But anyways, to do this, same thing underneath the interface and do the IP OSPF dead interval. And you can see here that we get the same options. We can set this from one to, you know, ungodly amount of time. Make a mental note of minimal because that's what we're getting to. I'm sorry we're going through all this review. Um, review is always good. I want to make sure that you've got the basic concepts down before we talk about fast hellos. Keep this guy in mind because we'll re return to this. So in this case, we've set the dead interval to 20 seconds. And when we take a look at this on the interface, we can see that now our dead interval is 20 seconds and our hello interval is 10 seconds. So like I said, you wouldn't want to set this to five because then it'd be less than the hello interval. And the reason you would change this is that by default, you're allowing your router to miss up to four hello packets from its neighbor so you might say you know what four is too many let's just do this in this case let's let it miss two at the most and then declare this down so this can be beneficial okay and that ends the review portion of this lesson so let's get into our actual subject which is the ospf fast hellos and what ospf fast hellos are is really simple they're ospf hello packets that are sent in intervals of less than one second or as Cisco likes to call them, subsecond. Remember I told you to make a mental bookmark of that minimal command? The weird bit about this is that you would think that, you know, just logically that there would be either a specific command for fast hellos or that if you were doing fast hellos, it would be changed with the IP OSPF hello interval command. Actually, it's going to be set up under the dead interval. And the thing with OSPF fast hellos is that you can set the number of hellos from being sent every 333 milliseconds up to, you know, every 50 milliseconds. So you're sending 20 hellos every second. But regardless of what you do with that, your dead interval is always, always, and this is important, going to be one second. There are some common misunderstandings about this, and I was one of those people that misunderstood this. I thought that by setting the hello interval to something ungodly low, like every you know 50 milliseconds, that that would also affect the dead interval to where my OSPF relationship would be declared dead after four missed packets, which in this case would be 200 milliseconds. That's not true. It's always going to be one second for the dead timer. And we'll see why that is in just a bit here. We're going to dig into a packet capture and explain how this works. It's basically Cisco doing kind of a hack on the OSPF hello interval and router dead interval. But let's go ahead and take a look at how you configure this. So you, same thing, go under the interface. And like I said, the one weird bit about this is that you use the dead interval rather than the hello interval. And then you specify that minimal keyword. Uh, you won't have any choice here. You'll have to put in hello multiplier. And what the hello multiplier is, is the number of hello sent within one second. Like I said, you can send them anywhere from three to 20 of these guys per second. In this case, we've chosen five. Now, if we go out and we issue our show IP OSPF interface and we take a look at this interface, you can see right down here that our hello interval is 200 milliseconds, which makes sense because we're sending five every second. And it has automatically set our dead interval to one second. Now, like all the other hello router dead interval configurations that you make, you have to make sure that this is set up on all neighbors. Otherwise, you're not going to get a OSPF neighbor relationship because, again, they have to agree on the hello interval and the router dead interval timers. Now, what is interesting about this, and we'll take a look at this in depth in just a bit here, is that you don't have to have the hellos match when you're using fast hellos. So we'll see a slide in just a bit here, but keep that in mind. It's kind of interesting. It, and this comes back to the heart of the quote unquote hack that Cisco did to implement this feature. And this is a Wireshark packet capture of some OSPF fast hellos. And you can see up here that these are being sent every, it looks like probably every 300 some milliseconds. So the hello multiplier is probably set to three. I don't remember exactly, but that makes sense. So now the interesting bit here is when we look at the contents of the packet, we see that the hello interval is set to zero seconds. That's, that's the key to making the fast hellos work and then our router dead interval is set to one second we expected that but this zero seconds is interesting because what's happening now is both sides of this OSPF neighbor relationship are agreeing to a hello interval of zero seconds and a router dead interval of one second so now if you think about it zero seconds can either mean I don't ever send out hellos or I send them continuously with no delay between the hello
LOs. So what Cisco has done is that it said, okay, we're meeting the criteria, we're matching on both sides, but now when I've set this hello interval to, to zero seconds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my iOS code and find out what my actual interval is. In this case, it's um, three. So it's saying, you know, okay, zero, we know that we're implementing fast hellos. So now I'm not going to get the actual hello interval from the packet. I'm going to go to a value that I have stored locally, which sets up an interesting uh, bit with fast hellos in that, like I said earlier, both sides do not have to agree on the hello interval. Now normally they do. In any case other than fast hellos, you have to agree on the hello interval because technically you are always agreeing on the hello interval. It is zero seconds. The actual hello interval that the router is going to use is going to actually be a local value so you can have different values and let's go ahead and take a look at that. And here we can see the hello mismatch in action. On R1 we have a hello interval of 200 milliseconds and then on R2 we have a hello interval of 333 milliseconds. Dead intervals are still one but our neighbor relationship is up so we do technically have a hello timer mismatch which is not affecting our OSPF neighbor relationship but remember in the background we are matching. The hello interval is actually zero seconds. So the benefit of the OSPF fast hellos is pretty obvious. You're going to have a dead interval of one second. So you're going to experience faster convergence time than you would without this feature. It's going to allow you to detect lost neighbors within one second. And this is going to be great for LAN segments, especially when you're looking at data center or maybe a metro area network. And we can see this in action here. We've set the hello interval to send out a hello every 333 milliseconds, so three times per second. And we go ahead and shut down the other side. And you can see here, if you're looking at the time, uh, it starts about here. It takes about one second for it to determine that this neighbor relationship should be set to down. And it goes ahead and expires that dead timer. So you probably think, oh, I'm going to go ahead and set up OSPF fast hellos all over my network so that we have the fastest possible OSPF convergence time. Uh, you might want to take a look at a couple factors the latency and also to a smaller extent bandwidth. More importantly is the latency. So if you're setting up sub-second hellos on a 56k frame relay connection from LA to New York, probably not the best idea because you're going to have a lot of delay built into it. And also the bandwidth. OSPF hello packets are not huge, but if you're sending out 20 of them every second, that will bite into your bandwidth. So keep those considerations in mind. As I stated earlier, I don't see the advantage in cranking up the number of hello messages sent per second because regardless, your router dead interval is fixed at one second. So whether you send out 20 packets per second or three per second, it's going to be one second for the router dead interval. Keep this in mind just for practicality because I, like I said, I misunderstood this. I thought that if I set it for 50 milliseconds that after 200 milliseconds, my neighbor relationship would go down. This is perfect fodder for an exam too. They can go two ways with this. They can say, okay, your hello intervals are set for 50 milliseconds. What is the dead interval? and your instinct is going to say oh, it's four times that so it's uh, 200 milliseconds. The other way they can go with this is that your hello interval is set to 333 milliseconds. What is your dead interval? And you go, oh, well, it's going to be four times that. So it's going to be about one point, you know, two something seconds. Both of those answers are wrong. If you see a hello interval that is sub second, that's expressed in milliseconds, the dead interval will always, always be one second. It has to be. And we saw that in the Wireshark capture. So keep that in mind for real world and also for Cisco exam. So that's OSPF fast hellos. It's a, it's a really good feature. Um, you're going to probably implement it, like I said, mostly in probably data center situations and possibly metro area networks. First bit of this is all just review of the hello and router dead intervals. I'm not going to hit that. You can read that on your own. And like I said, there's a specific lesson for that. Plus, we reviewed it earlier in this lesson. So OSPF fast hellos allow you to send out sub second OSPF hellos. So normally your minimum OSPF hello interval setting would be one second. In this case, you can send out multiple OSPF hellos within one second. And the amount that you can send is probably going to depend on iOS version slash platform. But we saw in this example that we could send anywhere from three to 20. Your dead interval is going to be set to one second, regardless of what you set up your OSPF hello multiplier to be. And multiplier is just basically the number of hellos sent within one second your router dead interval is going to be fixed at one second. That's important to keep in mind because there are some misconceptions with that. The odd bit about this is that unlike the normal OSPF hello interval setting, the hello multiplier does not have to match on neighbors. And the reason that that is is because this is basically a hack. The OSPF hello interval is actually going to be set to zero 
and then the multiplier is going to be managed locally. You don't have to have the same multiplier on both sides. Technically, your hello interval is going to match because it's going to be set to zero. Your dead interval is going to be set to one second. The other goofiness with this is that this command is configured using the IP OSPF dead interval under the uh, interface configuration rather than the IP OSPF hello interval, which would seem more logical. And the way that you get to this command is that you use the IP OSPF dead interval with the minimal keyword, and then it'll ask you for a hello multiplier. And that's it for OSPF fast hellos. Thanks once again for joining me in the packet lab. As always, I hope this helps you on your route to becoming a network guy.